The AccuSync pressure regulator is one of the many tools in Hunter's water savings arsenal. It is designed to regulate the pressure at the head of an entire zone right at the valve. Regulating pressure saves water and extends the life of the irrigation system. Water savings is achieved by operating each zone at the optimum pressure for that equipment and application type to avoid misting and runoff. AccuSync ensures that every zone and every system operates at its peak for maximum water savings and longevity. AccuSync can be used on all Hunter brand valves, plastic or brass, and works with a DC latching solenoid. This is how pop-up spray heads look without pressure regulation. The idea is to concentrate the water on the area being irrigated. In high pressure conditions, you will get a smaller water droplet sizes, which may lead to a misting effect. These smaller droplets are susceptible to being carried off by the wind and having overspray reach areas outside the landscape. The solution is either to install a pressure regulator for the entire system, install sprinklers individually that have pressure regulator built in, or install the AccuSync pressure regulator on any model Hunter valve and select the desired pressure. Each one of these solutions will bring slightly different results based on your needs and application. So we've already turned off the water supply from our isolation valve. In your case, it might be at the backflow preventer, but either way, the main line does not have any water pressure in it. We'll be installing this 30 PSI preset AccuSync model. And one thing to remember, the sideways regulator is independent from the center shaft. So if you're curious how you're going to thread this on to the bonnet with this long perpendicular piece, the center shaft is independent from the right angle handle. So as a solenoid goes in, the center shaft will spin in place, allowing it to insert into the threads on the bonnet. And when you're finished, you can relocate the perpendicular part to anywhere that doesn't get in your way. So we'll start out by removing the existing solenoid. And once it's out of the way, we'll take the AccuSync and it's a good idea to start the base thread into the bonnet even with just about a half a turn. Once you've got that portion started, you can use the solenoid to tighten down on the center shaft and insert that shaft into the bonnet. So I'll start out here with the solenoid. And once the solenoid is seated all the way down, onto the center shaft. The center shaft is independent from this sideways piece. So you can relocate this wherever you need to, but by pre-installing it, it always ends up right here and tucked away. The incoming pressure needs to be at least 15 PSI greater than what the desired outgoing pressure is. So with 30 PSI here, I have to have at least 45 coming in for it to do any regulation. Now let's take a look at our sprays before and after the AccuSync is installed. The AccuSync is available in preset pressures of 20, 30, 40, 50, and 70 PSI. We also have a fully adjustable model from 20 to 100 PSI. The 20 PSI model is great for micro-irrigation and drip style applications. The 30 PSI model can be used for spray zones. The 40 PSI model can be used for the MP rotator and larger drip systems. The 50 PSI model works well with mid-range size rotors. And the 70 PSI model is great for larger rotor applications.